Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Craft Eccentricity. I hope you all had an awesome weekend, and I did. And I'm doing a KS Craft Let's Make This today. But before I go into that, I just want to show you um, my personal haul and what I made. So look at the detail in these rosettes. I've got three of my rosette dies turn up. There are actually seven in this set and I'm waiting on the other ones. And of course I had to play. So I did the big one too and put the little one on top. So I just wanted to share that because I'm going to be um, using these to do like Christmas snowflakes to hang in my window from fishing wire. And this is what they look like. They're huge. Can't even get all that in. There you go. <laughs> that was the biggest one I just showed you. That's the other one. And that's the smaller one. But as I said, I'm waiting on the others in this set. And I will show you when they arrive. But if you like those, I will link them below. Right. KS Craft. So, anyway. <laughs> I'll digress for a minute. You know me and my dies. And I love multi-purpose dies. And if I can use something for something else, then that's exactly what I'm going to do. So on that theme, that is what I'm doing today. So I am going to use the medium size of the uh, tassel die. I am using the sunflower dies. And I'm also using the smaller coffee cup. Now, if you go onto KS Crafts page on AliExpress, you'll see that she's already made fabulous coffee cups. And so, you know, I'm not going to make coffee cups. Nope, I'm not going to do it. So once you've finished making all your coffee cups and you've had fun doing that, you don't necessarily want to put your die away until you're ready to start making coffee cups again. So we're going to use that for something else. And then we're going to use these in amongst them. Now, being organised, <laughs> she said, I've got to laugh at that, yeah. I don't know if I'm lying or not. <laughs> being organised, I have gone away and I have cut some flowers and centers and I've used two different shades of yellow cardstock uh, that's the stuff that I don't know if you still get it 25 cents a sheet or four is it for a dollar uh, when Joanne has a sale on and I've also used the leaf that comes with the set and cut a few of those out in a very pale green and that pale green cardstock is from the Cartabella Sunflower Market which is snap click supply so it's printed and I've die cut it right now for the base of the card um, obviously Sunflower Market again and I've already used my corner rounder and that is a five inch square that's going to be my background and then from the same kit again, using this sort of like, I don't know what you call it, buffalo checky plaid. Yeah, that one is going on the top. And this one is four and a quarter inches. And that's going to be put together using Dollar Tree foam for a little bit of elevation and dimension. And from my Cartabella kit again, I've cut this in white. And I've also cut that element out to sit in the middle there. Now, I'm not sure whether I'm going to use it or not, but I think I probably am. And it doesn't matter to me if it gets buried a little bit on the element that I'm going to put on here. So that's that bit. And then we have the coffee cup. So here is one half. That's all I'm going to use, just one half. And the little side panel pieces that you get, I've cut those out and I've used the sunflower paper to do that. And I've also cut out a base. So that is that. But first of all, what I want to do is glue my sunflowers together. So I'm just going to do one of those and then we'll come back and we're going to use that coffee cup for what I'd like to use it for. Now, with these, you can layer them up, and I think I'll do a layered one just before I vanish and finish the rest. So you can layer them up like that, and there is a small one. So I get a small one, and then you've got little centers. 
So you can have them as singles or you can, you know, double or triple them up. It's entirely up to you. So I'm going to make a couple like that and uh, a couple of twos and uh, a lot of single ones. And actually, if you look at them, because I've chosen black centers, they actually look like, um, oh, what's that flower? Black, I think they call it a black eyed Susan. That um, They tend to grow wild in the ditches around here. I really like them. I think they're really pretty. So Dollar Tree glue, nothing fancy. Little blob in the middle there. I hope that I'm getting this in the centre. It looks pretty central. Um, and of course, when it's dry, then I can fluff it up. Now, my pickup tool is around here somewhere. I'm just going to drag that out and uh, use that to position that on there. Right, so I'm going to run off. I'm going to make a bunch of these flowers and I will be right back. Okay, so the flowers are done and I've popped them up there and there are 12 flowers kind of like in different doodars. There's triples and there's singles and there's doubles so that there's a good variety. I've still got my leaves up there and I've also put my base together and I've got my foam behind there, which is from Dollar Tree. That's this stuff. I always put plenty on because you want good support for anything that you're gifting right so that is the base and now we've got the bit and i'm sure you can see what's happening here i'm turning half a coffee cup into a vase or a plant pot so i've got my little decorative pieces that need to be glued on and i've got the base of the small coffee cup so first of all i'm going to need to glue these on but before I do that, this has got six. If you look, one, two, three, four, five, six. I want to get rid of this and turn it into a little tuck around flap, which is that, that shape there. So all I'm going to do is get my scissors. I'm just reaching across. And I'm going in there and I'm just going to crop it off at an angle for the moment okay and i'm going to do the same there right so all you need to do now is go down you can eyeball it and basically trim it to roughly the same size as the other side can you see that so you've got rid of that and you've got another one of these and i haven't done that very neatly so i've just got to angle it towards myself while i do there that's better and trim it off a a bit again because as you can see I've done it a bit wonky right that will do so you've trimmed it down so that you've got five panels and you've given yourself two little flap type things and personally I still haven't got that correct so I'm just going to do it again but what I don't want to do is snip into that there that's it so just try to make this side look the same as that side Right, so I'm going to get little scraps off the desk there. Move my scissors out of the way. And I'm just going to glue one little panel on here so that you can see how it's done. And then I'm going to run off and glue the other panels on. And then we're going to put it together right you need to kind of eyeball it and i hope that i've got that straight so i'm going to put those little decorative panels all the way along so i've got one two three four more to do and i'll come right back okay so that's done and um it's reasonably dry it's very humid here at the moment so you can see I've tried to be as straight as possible and get those panels on. Now, the next thing we need to do is we need to just fold our pieces in as if we were making that coffee cup. Uh, once again, I don't have my bone folder. So I'm just creasing those end pieces in. Just find the score line. I have used quite a thick cardstock to do this. And uh, you don't have to do that. 
but um, I did. <laughs> right, so we've tucked those bits in, so they're folded, and now you can see that, let me see if I can get it in, there you go, you've got your score line between your pattern pieces, and you can just go along and bend those. And you start to see that you're getting your plant pot shape. Now the bottoms will attach onto, where's it gone? There it is, onto the base. And that's the bit that we're going to do next. So we're tucking those in. And then I'm going to stand it upright. Hopefully you're going to be able to see. And you've got the shape on the base and you want to match it to that so you have quite literally made half of a coffee cup so what I need to do for that tuck those in a little bit more is I need to get my Dollar Tree Jock Glue and pop that on there I'm going to put a little blob on each just lay those down for a second while I cap off my bottle it's always important to uh, put your lid back on otherwise your glue can uh, block the entrance now I can't actually see from that angle so I'm going to have to do it from this angle and I hope that you can see it so when I make contact here and push that down right I've got one hand free and I'm just going to pause while I hold that in position and it dries and I will be right back. Right, so it's dry and that is what it looks like. That is your base and that is the inside. So you can see it's quite literally half a coffee cup and it will stand up actually. But now we're going to take our scissors, we're going to fold our little edges in there and we are just going to cut straight the way across that's all you've got to do take away that piece and now you've got a bottom to your plant pot which is nice and tidy still standing up actually and you've got your two little flaps here now your two little flaps are going to have some double-sided tape so I'm just reaching across here and it doesn't matter if you overlap with this because it's going to go down on your card and by overlap I mean my tape is actually wider than that edge so I'm just going to cut that piece off there so you can see I've got some double sided tape there I'm going to do exactly the same with that side right now on the coffee cup these would be folded but I quite like that little fancy edge so I'm going to keep it and I also think it's going to be useful for gluing a few leaves and flowers onto there if I need to. So now I'm going to show you again we've got that we've got our double sided tape on both flaps and we've got our base that we've just cut off and we're going to go in with the card. Now I did say before I was going to try and use this so if I can't use it it's okay but I'm kind of like thinking I want to see that flower I don't want it to go off the edge of my card and I'm thinking about my plant pot there in the center of the card so I'm just going to sort of like finagle that around and see if there's going to be a good attachment I do quite like the idea that there's something more going on behind of it so I think I'm just going to glue that onto there or maybe I can just use a couple of pieces of double sided tape that would be even quicker so I'm just reaching grabbing my tape and I'm just going to put a couple of pieces kind of towards the center And of course, once I put this down, I'm committed. So I haven't done this before, so we have to hope that it works. I mean, in my head, <laughs> yeah, you don't ever want to go inside my head. But in my head, it kind of works. 
So let's see what we're going to end up with here. We get that off. We've got lots of humidity, as I said. Right, I'm going to stand up. So I hope I'm not yelling into the mic, but I just want you to be able to see this. I want it up there, but I don't want it to go off the edge of my card. Right, so I've got my little bit of sunflower that's kind of sticking out. And I quite like this. It reminds me of the sun. And then the next thing we need to do is fix our pot on. Now, you can splay it out a little bit if you want to. The tape should hold it there. But I'm going right down at the bottom, and I want it to be in the centre. So I'm going to peel off the double-sided tape. Oh, that came off quite easily. Get my fingers under there. My fingernails never look really good, or my hands for that matter, because... I'm always, you know, in the garden doing something. And I hope that I've got it in the centre and I want to get it to the base of my card and I want it to be straight. And then I'm going to push. And I'm going to sit down again so that I'm not screaming. And I'm going to use... What am I going to use? I'm going to use my... Um, <laughs> my craft poke tool just to make sure that the sides of my pot are adhered to the card. So, you know, just run it up and down there. So what we've got now is a pretty little plant pot, which is quite dimensional, finished quite nicely there. And I wish I could find my bone tool, my bone folder. I mean, I've got lots and lots of We Are Memory Keeper punch boards and every single one of them comes with um, a bone folder. And I just keep them with my punch boards and I've never really got them on my desk. Right, let me go back into here and push down again. I really do want to make sure that it's stuck fast. I suppose I could go in with my finger. But I don't want to crease anything. Just want to make sure that you've got good contact with your paper. And I think that I have. So there is our little plant pot, and it's all ready to be filled with sunflowers. And I glued all these before, and everything is a matter of flower arranging what you're doing. And that's why I said I wanted to leave that edge because it gives me the opportunity to fix stuff there. But, of course, it's a plant pot and it needs to be filled. And there is quite a lot of space in there. And uh, that's something, you know, that I didn't fully think about, which I should have. But you can see I'm just kind of like throwing these down where I want them. And I'm going to be using my foam again because that is going, is going to be what raises them right up and fills that little space there. So you can kind of see what's going on. And I have buried my little my little doodah there. But I can also scatter bits about. As long as I'm not going off the edge, that's all I'm worried about. But I can just put my sunflowers everywhere. So I'm going to um, arrange these, and then we'll come back and do the leaves. So I decided that I really wanted to share the process and the best way for me to do that so that I'm getting things right is to work upside down. So all of these have now got little foam bits on the um, on the back. So I'm just going to start here. And also um, I'm conscious of the fact that I've got that element there and I don't really want to hide that. So I'm going to go maybe there with the first one and we're just going to build them up a little flower arrangement now some of these are going to get totally buried um, and hidden I think I'm going to go off to there with that one now this one I think I want at the front of my vase or shall I say my plant pot talking about vase um, if you cut another one off you're going to end up with an even slimmer cylinder now, I think I'm going to go dead in the centre with that. And uh, then you can put all your roses and stuff in. 
but I can see as I start to pile these on top of each other it starts to come up and fill that space that we've got there now obviously you want the the bigger ones on the top I can still view that which is good I'm just peeling um, foam tape off the backs of them here so tucking that one in Ooh, I quite like this and as I said um, I'm doing this for the first time so I'm quite pleased with the way it came out now what I do know is that I want to have something and I don't know what side I want it on maybe down there just a little one that has gone astray yeah I quite like the idea of that and peeling the backs off again um, right that has pretty much filled my plant pot make sure it's all kind of like stuck down so if I turn that around now we start to see we've got this element here which is very decorative a bit like sunshine and I'm going to put a small doubly one I don't know Should I put it there yeah why not you can put them wherever you want to do I want that there I don't know things play with my eyes I don't know about you but as long as you haven't squished it down firmly yet um, then you're okay Maybe I'll go up behind there. Yeah, I like that better. And then I've got some singles, which, whoops, I'm going to pop that one there. Because I still like this little sort of like fluted decorative bit, so I don't want that to vanish completely. And I quite like that we come in up out of the vase with this one so I'm going to go in there and slightly off the page so that it kind of starts to meet that lovely sunflower paper behind and then I'm wondering what that would look like I'll stick that one there yeah I'm going to stick that one there and then of course we've got all the leaves which are going to totally um, add a lot more dimension so there we go with the sunflowers for the moment I've got my bit there that should not be there so I'm just going to wiggle that around so we've got a nice full vase of sunflowers you've still got that lovely wavy edge which is normally folded for your coffee cup that just looks like I don't know what would you call it on a plant pot a pie crust edge or something so that's looking really really pretty just fasten everything down I've got a little one that's gone off on its own here and I'm wondering if I should stick a leaf there well if I do I think it's probably going to be several and then I've got my glue and I'm going to start tucking leaves in so just along the stem there I'm going to move stuff down and remembering that you do not want to go off edge because otherwise your uh, your card gets all squished up in the post so we're going to start tucking our leaves in so I'm going to do a couple of these I'm, I'm watching uh, the time on my camera and I'm at 25 minutes I'm going to put that one there I don't know if I'm off the card there Right, I'm going to stick a few more leaves in and I'll come straight back. Right, so I popped a few leaves in. I've got a couple going on behind there, a little cluster down here. Pop two behind that little one there. We've got a nice full pot of flowers. You've got your base on there so it looks neat and tidy. And I just really love that. So I hope my camera isn't all blurred. That's all I can say. So when you finish making coffee cups and you want something else, 
you can do that. That is one, two, three, four, five for the plant part. And for a vase, I would go four. And then you'll end up with something really slim and tapered uh, that you can put your little roses or your tulips or anything like that in. Right, I thank you so much for joining me today. I am up again tomorrow with more Chaos Craft and people have asked to see the running shoes. So I'm going to do those. Have an absolutely awesome day. And as usual, all links below. Bye.